Hello, um, this is my second project in the Illustrator class on narrative illustration mind mapping. Um, first off, to get my um, gears going, as far as telling my tale of a certain fairy tale from the Grimm's Brothers um, storybook. Uh, so I pretty much branched out my ideas um, as far as I could go, and eventually I found one particular story that really interested me, especially since I kept going with canine. Um, teeth, lupus, tree, and such. Um, so I went with The Wolf and the Fox. Um, the story itself is pretty short, but uh, it gets the message across very well. It's like, don't take too much more than you can handle. Um, only take what you really need and don't bully those that are beneath you, pretty much. Um, again, using the depiction of the wolf intimidating the fox, which I use to cultivate the story, especially for my narrative. Um, and just the idea of the two uh, candidates, which is pretty much cousins almost, uh, similar to their family and everything. It's like one side is like larger than the other, so one has to use his wits more than the other, and the other one's not using as much wit as the other one. <laughs> Um, so for my rough comps, I really went strong with the emotion of the wolf overpowering the fox. Is like, you have to do what I say pretty much or I'll eat you. Um, and the fox has no other choice. If he wants to survive, he has to do what the, what the wolf wants him to. Um, and like the pictures from the story of like uh, the wolf told the fox to give him something to eat. He stole a lamb. Um, and the wolf, like, he ate the lamb and then he didn't have enough or he was too greedy and he went back to get more. And, like, the mother lamb or the mother of the lamb cried and made noise and, like, the, I don't know, farmer beat him or something. Or when the fox got him pancakes, uh, Baker hit him with the frying pan, which is, like, right here. And then, like, so on and so forth. Um, for this type comp, or uh, actually rough comp, I really put into like the last page or so or last bit of the story how he was eventually caught by the farmer and ended up being uh, killed because, again, he got more than what he needed. And because he was so slow with his like round belly, he wasn't able to get away like the fox could. And so the fox eventually got his win in the end. Um, on the tire comp, I went more of like the storybook um, depiction of it especially since I'm of creating a narrative of, from a story um, with the wolf being a dark entity of like the darker lines and such being the forefront back um, the forefront of the story pretty much besides the fox itself and then the shadow of the farmer pretty much intimidating the wolf like the wolf intimidated the fox but in end result only one of them died and it wasn't what the fox had intended what the wolf had intended to from the get-go um, my final depiction of it was pretty much lightening the background and such, um, compared to the first one, because it's like everything like darker here, there's darkness there and everything, but here I kind of lighten it up because again, the foreground should be the shadow against the wolf and then everything else pretty much is muted. So like you'll see this first and then everything else after the fact. Um, again, the reasons of me choosing this story in particular is because pretty much an underdog story and how the fox kept telling the wolf not to be too much of a glutton in his search for more and more food despite the fox doing what he wanted and originally the wolf just wanted more and more um but that hurt him in the end because the more he ate again with his round belly he was unable to get away or fast enough to get away especially when the fox told him in the last the stash of um being genuinely concerned in that moment uh, for the wolf to get away, he, and he couldn't because he ate too much. And so I really pulled that off from the story. I felt like that was one of the stronger suits, like the beginning of it and the ending of it, and how the fox hides while he watches the demise of the wolf happening. And so that is pretty much uh, my narrative for the story of these characters. And I did really enjoy this project, especially trying to pull really strong elements from a smaller story. And I hope you enjoyed it as well.